Hello, this is David Carduno for Cruise Meter, reporting from the new Norwegian getaway, which has been called Miami's ultimate ship. And I must say, it is really an impressive cruise ship. Getaway is an almost exactly twin sister ship to Breakaway. So we have not done such an extensive ship tour about this uh, new cruise vessel as it is extremely similar to Breakaway. We do have a very complete video tour of Norwegian Breakaway. We have concentrated mostly on the differences between one ship and the other. In the main atrium we can see a differently designed uh, chandelier which even though it's similar to Breakaway and Epic it has a different design. What is on the breakaway and on the epic, the martini bar here has been renamed as the mojito bar with a more Latin Miami flavor. The main dining room, the largest one of them, which is the Tropicana room, is very similar in design to the Manhattan room on the epic and breakaway. The waterfront has a different flavor to it. It's more tropical and I'm sure it is going to be a huge success in the Caribbean. The Grammy experience is also a new venue on board. It replaces uh, the jazz club and the other ships. It has a collection of Grammy memorabilia and it also presents a Grammy star every night. The Illusionarium replaces the Cirque Dreams and it has more of a magic show than anything else. I must say I was not that impressed about this show and I do think Cirque Dreams is better. The outdoors are very similar, all the facilities are practically the same and I still have a question in my mind if the sunning area around the swimming pool is large enough to hold the number of passengers the ship has. Also the road course is painted in a different way. All the metal structures uh, simulate wood, which at first I thought it was unfinished, but no, it's just a different finishing. The last christening ceremonies of Norwegian Cruise Line, which were the epic and the breakaway, did not come out as very impressive events. The one for getaway I think was better. It had a major show by Pitbull, though everything was transmitted through video cameras into different areas of the ship, so nobody really saw the christening firsthand, at least not very many people. And one thing that was very disappointing is that when the bottle was supposed to break against the hull, that was really not shown on the videos. If you watch the screen, the moment when the bottle is supposed to break against the hull doesn't appear. So that is somewhat disappointing. It even made me doubt if, he, if it had really broken against the hull or not. Later I did find information regarding that, and it did. They just didn't show it. But all in all, I must say, the ship really looks magnificent. The design is really fantastic, and I am sure it will become Miami's ultimate ship. They showed a fantastic show from Burn the Floor during dinner, which has more of a Latin flavor. The ship definitely is very Latin, very Miami, and I think it will be a great success. Congratulations to Norwegian Cruise Line.